Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me teaching you guys how to secure the job okay <laughs> because i want everybody to win i want everybody to be happy there's plenty of money to go around for everyone so i'm not selfish with any advice or anything that i do so today i'm gonna give you guys all of my tips and tricks and how i ace these job interviews so um anyone who knows me knows that i have worked in a lot of places <laughs> mainly because I move around a lot for school purposes, but now that I've graduated, I'm going to, I'm planning on moving one more time um, and then I'll be good. Like, and then I'll be like in my, stable in my career and ready to settle down and live somewhere for good. But for the most part, I've been moving around um, since I was about 17, I'm 23 now. So I, <laughs> I've really been living places temporarily. Um, because I go to school. With that being said, I um, find myself always having to find a new job because I always have to move and uh, find somewhere uh, to work around the area that I go to school. So I've been on tons of job interviews. I'm very comfortable with interviews now. They don't make me nervous anymore. Um, and I ace them. Like, I mean, I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty confident now that anytime I go get an interview, I pretty much got the job after that because I'm really good with interviews. I really know how to sell myself and I know how to secure the job. So today I'm going to help you guys do the same. Okay, so if you guys want to know how to ace that job interview, then keep on watching. All right, so let's get straight into this. First, we're going to talk about the obvious. You know, your appearance and your presentation is very important. I'm not going to spend too many details on that because I really want to give my t my secrets and my tricks or things like that. And what I'm about to say really isn't a secret. Um, obviously, you have to dress appropriately for the job that you're interviewing for. Um, like I said, I work, I work in corporate America. So when I go on interviews, I have to be dressed either business casual or business formal. So, you know, just wear something that's either business casual or business formal. Um, ladies or men, like whoever had, anyone with hair, honestly, make sure your hair is not in your face. It's very distracting. Um, you don't want anything in your face. You don't want loud jewelry. You don't want hoop earrings. Nothing that's gonna like distract them. You want them to be completely focused on you and the words that are coming out of your mouth. You don't want them to be looking at your clothes or uh, looking at your hair or anything like that. That is like the worst thing when you're talking to um, the employer who's interviewing you and you can see them looking at your outfit or looking at your hair. That means that you're wearing something Something that's distracting and you want to make sure you don't do that because they're gonna to be too busy focused on your appearance and not more so on what you say so you're not really gonna leave that much of an impression on them and if you do it's gonna be a bad impression because your appearance was very distracting so just make sure you don't wear hoop earrings no loud jewelry don't have your hair in your face obviously make sure you dress appropriately covering up everything um, I have tattoos like on my shoulders he and you know all the, not all down my arm but they're very visible in like a short sleeve shirt so you know i'll try to wear blazers and stuff like that um, i don't take my nose ring out i really don't think they care about this well obviously they don't because i still get the job but i um, mean yeah, i just try to cover up as much of that stuff as possible i have never been asked to take my nose ring out for a job so if you have that don't worry about that but other face piercings maybe like if you have this or if you have that little thing, that little bull thing, I think that's called a septum or something, or the eyebrow or the tongue piercing, please take all that stuff out. It's very distracting. <laughs> it's just not a good look, okay? Okay, so now that we have gotten through the obvious, we're going to go into the actual interview. Okay, so first of all, when applying for the job, they're going to ask you for a resume. Make sure one, it's no longer than two pages. Also, make sure you have someone proofread and try edit or look at your resume before sending it out. Um, you should never type up a resume and then send it. You should always make sure someone else looks over it. Um, preferably somebody um, 
that's professional so that they can give you actual useful feedback um i i think i had at least three people from um my school look at my resume before i actually started submitting it for jobs um i had one of my professors look at it i had one of the administrators in the program look at it and then i had one of my friends who was a little bit older and more experienced in the professional world look at it and they all um had suggestions for me so make sure that someone else looks at your resume before you send it out okay so you submitted the resume the employer liked it they called you they want to bring you in for an interview now what before you go into this interview okay make sure you know something about the company if you've been on an interview before you know that that is the first thing they ask you. So what do you know about the company? You have to know something about the company. Like you're trying to convince them that you really want, you're trying to convince them to hire you and you're trying to make it seem as though you really want to work there. Even if you don't really want to work there and you just want to be there for the money, I've been there before, still at least act like you care, okay? At least know one or two things about the company. Know what type of company it is. Um, look up some recent news. See if like something recent good just happened to them. For example, let's say you're trying to get a job at like Johnson & Johnson or something. And the first question the interviewer says is, so tell me what you know about Johnson & Johnson. You don't have to go in too much detail. You don't have to seem like you researched the company and all and you studied the website and all of that. But to know something about the company and know what the company is and what they do is very important. So as a response, you could say something like, well, I don't know a lot about the company, um, but I do know that it is a very big, well-known company. Um, I know that it's a Fortune 500 company and that you guys specialize in um, pharmaceutical and consumer goods and also medical devices. And then you can add something in there like, and I'm also um, a huge fan of your products. Um, I buy and use a lot of them simple you know you don't have to give the whole rundown you don't have to give the whole wikipedia website description like just know a little something something about the company if you go in there saying no i don't know this company i don't know what you do and they're gonna be like well why do you want to work here you know so that's first thing first just make sure you know something about the company next when they ask to tell a little about yourself don't just go regurgitating everything that's on your resume, okay? They've already seen your resume. They already know what you've accomplished. That's why they called you. The resume got you the interview. The interview is what's gonna get you the job. And it's not gonna help you in the interview to keep repeating everything that they've already seen on the resume. So when they ask you to tell a little about yourself, you don't have to go too personal, but I mean, just talk a little about your life, like, you know. I grew up here, I was born and raised here. You can kind of talk about like your education and basically tell a story about how you got to where you are. You don't have to say something like, well, um, I was president of this in 2015. I graduated this here. Um, I received this award and that stuff they already seen. They've already seen that on your resume. You know what I mean? So just go a little bit more personal and try to be relatable. Tell them a story. When they ask you to tell a little about yourself, just tell them a story about yourself. Don't just repeat everything that's on your resume. I'm giving y'all some good advice here. I hope y'all are taking notes. Speaking of taking notes, take notes when they're talking to you, when they're explaining about the position and stuff like that. Make sure you take notes. You know, you want to look interested. Bring a notepad, bring a pen, and just write down when they say, like, sometimes I forget things that they tell me in an interview and... I mean, you're obviously not going to remember everything that they tell you in an interview. So just bring a notepad and a pen, write some stuff down. Look, just listen, guys, just appear to be interested in the job. I know most of the time we're not interested in the job. We don't care about the company. We just want to, we're just really there for the money, but they cannot know that. You have to seem like you're really, really interested in the job. So, you know, bring a notepad, bring a pen, take notes where they're talking. Um... 
really just look really engaged nod your head when they're talking you know smile make sure you're not like mugging sometimes i do i do have rbf <laughs> um so if you want and i don't do that on purpose um sometimes i just like i don't know i i think that i'd be smiling but people just be like why are you so why are you looking so mean like what's wrong and i'm like nothing's wrong like <laughs> but i just have rbf i can't help it so if you're one of those people and you know that you suffer from rbf much like me um just to make sure you look very attentive during the interviews make sure you're smiling make sure you laughing if they try to make a corny little joke just laugh at it you know so now we're going to get into the thing that will really separate you from everyone else <clears throat> okay so obviously you're not going to be the only person that they're interviewing for the job so you want to stand out you want to be memorable you know what i'm saying everyone who they interview is going to have a great resume or else they wouldn't have called them in for an interview you know what i'm saying everyone they call in is going to be qualified for the job so that's not enough just being qualified just having a great resume that's not enough you have to stand out you have to be memorable you're competing against people who are going to be just as qualified as you so the resume is is unimportant at this part the resume was just to get you the interview now you have to impress them in the interview and one way you can impress them is when they ask, when the interview is coming to an end and they ask you, do you have any questions for me? Always, always, always have a question, okay? Don't ask about pay. <laughs> okay do not ask them about a salary because if you get um offered the job all of that stuff will come later so don't ask them about that if you have questions on your own to ask them cool if you don't i can give you a few right now because obviously that's what i'm here for to help y'all out so when the interview is over and the person says well do you have any questions for me if you don't have any questions, here are a few that you can ask, even if you don't care about the answer. One of my favorite questions to ask um, the interviewer is, what do you like best about working for this company? Or what is your favorite part about working for the company? You know what I mean? Um, let me just say this for a minute. When you go on these interviews, I know that you're trying to get the job, you're trying to impress them and things like that. But at the same time, like, for me, when I go into an interview, they they need to impress me as well. I have to make sure that this is a good work environment. I have to make sure that I'm gonna be around friendly people. I'm gonna be around a good working environment. You know, although you're trying to impress them to get the job, um, they need you just as much as you need them. If they didn't need you, they wouldn't be interviewing you right now. They wouldn't have put this ad out on the internet looking for this position. They need someone to fill that position just as much as you need a job for income or for experience or whatever the case may be. For whatever reason you're looking for the job, just know that they need you just as much as you need them. So... With that being said, you want to make sure that you are going to be entering into a work environment where it is friendly, um, it's productive, and everything is nice and organized. So when you ask them questions like, what's your favorite part about working for the company, and they don't have anything to say, that pretty much just lets me know that you're miserable here, and I don't know if I would want to work here because I don't want to work somewhere where I'm being miserable. You know what I mean? So that's another thing like besides like just trying to impress them asking them questions is really important because you just you really want to know what it's like working here well i don't know if y'all i know i do i don't know if y'all care about that but i do i really want to know like do you like it here <laughs> because if you don't like it here then why would i want to work here you know what i'm saying so you know that's another way you could look at asking the interviewer questions you could also ask them what are the qualities that someone would need to succeed in this role that could also and that could let you know if you're actually up for the job or not if they say that they need somebody who is 
um, able to do time management, who's on time and who's a team player, and you know that you are none of those things, you can either do one or two things. You can either work on that and try to get it together before you start that job, or you can either look for another job because you know that you are not qualified to do it and you don't want to waste anyone's time. So those are just two questions that I always um, keep in my mind to ask just in case I don't have any other questions. Those are just some general good questions that'll let you know a little bit more about the job that you should always ask when you go on an interview. And last but not least, okay, you submitted your resume. They liked your resume. They called you in for an interview. You aced the interview. You asked questions. The interview is over. Let's say every candidate did that. Every candidate had a great resume. Every candidate looked professional. Every candidate nodded and smiled when they were talking. Every candidate gave a nice little story. Every candidate knew something about the company. Every candidate asked questions at the end of the interview. Now what? Now how do you make yourself stand out? The next day, in the morning, okay, make sure you send a thank you letter. I want to thank them for their time, thank them for giving you the opportunity to interview for the job. Let me just let me just read y'all a sample thank you letter that I sent out before. So obviously you have to make sure that you get their contact information. Make sure make sure you have like an email or something so that you can send them a thank you letter the next day. So here's a sample letter that you can send as a thank you letter. Dear to whom this may concern or blah blah blah. Thank you for the opportunity to meet with you on blah, blah, blah morning. Let's say it was a Friday morning. Thank you for the opportunity to meet with you on Friday morning. I really enjoyed our discussion concerning this position and why I think that I am a qualified candidate. I remain confident that my qualifications and skills are a good match for your needs and will hope to be among those in consideration for the job. That's a little simple first little paragraph. During the second paragraph, you want to make sure that you let them know that you really paid attention in the interview. Let's say that they keep enforcing that they want someone who can be a multitasker and um, complete projects on time. You would say something like, during our interview, you mentioned that you are looking for someone who is a multitasker and is able to complete projects on time. If you have experiences that prove that you can finish things on time or that you're a multitasker, talk about that in the second paragraph, you know? Maybe you're a parent, you can say something like, as a mom, multitasking is an important skill to have as blah, 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 blah. So I am sure that my experiences as a mother can be a valuable asset to your company. Sample. And then you can close it out with something like this. I would like to reiterate my sincere interest in this position and I look forward to hearing the next steps in the hiring process. I can guarantee you majority of people who go on interviews do not send a thank you letter the next day. Okay? And I do. I do it with all of my interviews and I'm sure that's what sets me apart from all of the candidates and that's what keeps me fresh in their brains, guys. So. I mean, there it is. I've told everything that I know. Do what you may with this information and I hope that it helps you. And let's secure these jobs, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.